So we're being asked to prove that a certain function is injective. So before we start the proof, uh, let me give you a quick definition of injective in case you've never seen this. So a function, function f from x into y is injective if for all a, b, in the domain of our function, whenever we have equal outputs, so f of a is equal to f of b, then the inputs must also be the same. a is equal to b. So equal outputs, equal outputs give rise to equal inputs. There's lots of ways to think about an injective function, lots of really, really cool ways. Uh, but in this video, I just want to focus on, on the proof. So proof. All right, so to use this definition, we have to start by supposing that we have f of a equal to f of b for some arbitrary a, b in the domain of f. So in this case, this is our our big X, our capital X. So A, B will live inside the interval from zero to infinity, which includes zero. Okay, now we just have to show that A is equal to B. So we started by assuming that A, F of A is equal to F of B, and we have to prove that A is equal to B. Well, F of A, well, what is that? Well, F of X is X squared, so F of A is A squared. And this is equal to F of B, which is just B squared. So the natural thing to do next is to take the square root of both sides. So when we do that, we get the absolute value of A equals the absolute value of B. But you'll notice that A and B are both greater than or equal to zero. Why? Because they're in this set here. So the absolute value of A is just A. And the absolute value of B is just B. Since A and B were arbitrary, this holds for all a, b in our domain. Thus, f is injective. And that's the proof. Uh, let me show you one more thing. So if, if we had instead, what if, Instead, we looked at the same function, except we extend the domain to include all real numbers. So same function, except we're changing the domain. We're making it bigger. In this case, f is not an injection. If you look at the graph of f, it looks like this. And it fails the horizontal line test, right? Remember, a function is injective or one-to-one -one if it passes the horizontal line test. Um, so, yeah, that's it. 